Welcome to Dr. Tom Talks. Today, in light of the fact that June is Alzheimer's and Brain Awareness Month, I'm going to be talking about Alzheimer's disease with the help of the biodigital human software. I'll be talking about what Alzheimer's disease is, what your brain looks like with Alzheimer's disease, the symptoms of Alzheimer's disease, as well as ways you can reduce your risk of Alzheimer's disease. So what is Alzheimer's disease? Well, it's the most common type of dementia and dementia are a group of conditions all characterized by reduced brain function. So things like memory and judgment. Well, let's take a look at the brain itself first, just to get ourselves orientated uh, with the parts of the brain so we can know which areas are affected by Alzheimer's disease. Using the biodigital human software, human studio, I just colored the cerebrum, the largest part of the brain in turquoise and out of this label, just to show people that this is the area that deals with higher functions. So things like vision, hearing, and speech. And then just down below this, at the back of the brain, we have the cerebellum that deals with things like muscle movements, maintenance of posture and balance. And then over in red, uh, you have the brain cell that de deals with autonomic function. Uh, so things like breathing, heart rate, and body temperature. And it's this area up here, it's the uh, cerebrum that's affected uh, in Alzheimer's disease. And what I've done is I have put side by side, here is a uh, brain with Alzheimer's versus here is a healthy brain. And these are the things that I want people to be aware of. So with Alzheimer's disease, it's not entirely understood why, but we know that there's a buildup of certain plaques in the brain, which cause the neurons. So these are the brain cells to die. And because they die, it actually makes the brain shrink. So this cortex, it shrinks the brain can actually become up to one third of the size of a regular size brain. So it's actually smaller. And if you look closely, you'll see that the gyri, so this is a gyrus right here that I'm gonna select, they actually become narrower than these thicker gyri of a regular brain, as well as the sulci here, they get wider because the gaps in between these smaller gyri are bigger. So those are the things that you want to look out for uh, and this is what you would find on autopsy. If we go back, I just wanna show you here how the brain was actually uh, sliced into uh, half. And you'll see right here that these ventricles, they get larger. Ventricles are these fluid filled with, with cerebrospinal fluid uh, areas of the brain. They get bigger because the rest of the brain gets smaller. And this is the most important point, the hippocampus right here, that area of the brain uh, is typically affected quite early on. And the hippocampus is the area of the brain that deals with memory. And that's why short-term memory loss is often the most common initial sign of Alzheimer's uh, dementia. So it's really important to remember that. So what are the symptoms of Alzheimer's disease? It's really important to distinguish between regular memory loss as we get older and Alzheimer's disease. So regular memory loss, you might forget someone's name. It might be on the tip of your tongue. You might lose your car keys or misplace them, but find them again. Uh, you know, you might miss an appointment here or there, but that's very different to uh, dementia or Alzheimer's disease where you may be driving your car and forget a usual route that you go on, or you continuously forget things in the short term uh, and the long term. In order for uh, Alzheimer's to be diagnosed though, you should go and see a specialist uh, and definitive diagnosis is actually only ever really able to be done uh, if you were to look at the brain on autopsy. So how do you reduce your risk for Alzheimer's disease? Well, it's been shown that things like smoking can increase your risk for it. An unhealthy lifestyle like bad diet, not exercising can also increase your risk for it. So it's important to exercise, eat healthily, not smoke, drink only in moderation and drink caffeine in moderation. Uh, and also, really interestingly, it's been shown that getting flu vaccines and uh, vaccines against pneumonia, pneumococcal vaccines, can also actually reduce your risk for Alzheimer's disease. So remember those things. They're very important. Healthy lifestyle. And if you have high blood pressure, remember to keep that under control as well. That will reduce your risk for Alzheimer's disease. This was a special on Alzheimer's disease. And this was a Dr. Tom talk using the biodigital human.